we're going to begin our look at PowerPoint 2013 by taking a look at how the program is organized. Now, if you have used previous versions of PowerPoint, you know what these things are. You might not know the names of them. Now, if you are brand new to PowerPoint, don't worry. In any application tutorial, I don't care who is teaching it, one of the first things we always do is we give an overview of how the program is arranged. And if you are brand new to this, this might go over your head or you might feel a little lost. Don't panic, don't worry. This will make sense to you as you go through the program. This is just a welcome to PowerPoint. We have to start somewhere. So we're gonna take a look in this presentation at our panes, our title bar, our ribbon, and our status bar. Let's first begin by taking a look at the panes. The panes are how we organize, or I should say the panes are our many windows in PowerPoint. We have different areas where things get done. For example, we have something called a thumbnail pane, we have a slide pane, we have a notes pane, and we have a task pane. Let's first take a look at our thumbnail pane. Over here are the thumbnails. You can even see, I put a little slide here that says, I am the thumbnail pane. Over here is the thumbnail pane. We see little thumbnails of our slides that show up bigger over here. So what's over here called? Over here is called the slide pane. This big window right here is the slide pane. This is where you're going to do most of your work. So once again, thumbnail pane here, slide pane here. Let's go to our next one, our note pane. This is where you can add notes. So down here, you can see I wrote a little note down here that said, hi, this is the notes pane. If you are doing presentations, whether you are teaching a class as a, as a K-12 teacher, college teacher, or trainer, or maybe you have a business presentation, this is where you put your possibly talking notes, your talking points, your lecture notes. This is where you can put things that only the person doing the presentation can see. When you actually show the show, depending on how you have your presentation set up, this will show up on your computer, while the overhead or the projector will just show what's here in the slide pane. The next thing is the task pane. The task pane is over here. But wait a minute, it's not over here, it's missing. Well, first of all, what is it? The task pane is going to allow us to do more options depending on what we're trying to do. It gives us more functionality. So let's make the task pane show up. Hello, task pane, where are you? There it is, over here, you saw it show up. This is the task pane. And this is going to give us more options depending on what we're trying to do. So for example, over here, I can add shadowing, I can play with a text box. I have different options, again, depending on the context, depending on what you're trying to do. This, once again, is called the task pane. So let's do a quick review before we move on to the different bars. Over here is the thumbnail pane. This is the slide pane. This is the notes pane. And this is the task pane. All right, I'm going to close out the task pane. We don't need that up and running. Now let's talk about our bars. We'll begin first by talking about the title bar. The title bar is at the top part of the program window. The program window is the program that you're running. For example, I'm running PowerPoint, so the PowerPoint program window is open. Up here is the top bar, the title bar. And the title bar is going to display things like what's the name of the presentation. It's also going to give us tools to help manage what we're doing to help manage the program. So we have some distinct areas. Over here, we have a, what we call a quick access toolbar. This area, again, over here is called the quick access toolbar. You can add and remove items to this area, which is a topic for a different presentation. Over here is the name of the presentation we're working on. So I called this 01 Navigating PowerPoint 2013. Thought that was an apt title, considering what we're doing. So here's the title. Then we have something called the Ribbons Option button. By the way, if you notice, if I hover my mouse, if I hover my cursor over things, I will get little pop-ups. These are tool tips. These little things pop up and give us more information about that button if we were to click it. 
So this is the ribbon display option button. Next to it is the Microsoft PowerPoint help button. And of course, our three studios right over here, we have our minimize, our maximize, and our close, which is pretty much present in every Windows program window that I've ever seen. Next, we have our ribbons. If we look up here, this is our ribbons area. And Microsoft has tried to clump different functionalities, different options under different tabs. So for example, home, we have our clipboard stuff, our copy paste, all that good stuff, our new slides. We can play with our fonts, paragraphs. Basically, our more common items are here. Insert area, we have different things we can insert, images, word art, things like that. Design, we can play with themes. Transition, how we go from one slide to another. Animations, we can, PowerPoint is incredibly powerful in that you can create actual stories using PowerPoint. In my professional career, I've created entire storyboards, interactive storyboards using PowerPoint. You can click things and add things and things happen. It is time consuming, but PowerPoint is very powerful. And that was where you would do a lot of the animations and stuff like that. Slideshow, you can set up your slideshow, your timing on your slideshow, the type of slideshow, your review area, you can spelling, research, language, translate, comments, and our different view buttons, which brings up another point we're going to talk about in a minute when we take a look at types of views, so keep that in mind. The next bar, and our last bar we have to take a look at, is something called the status bar. The status bar, now everything's up here, right? All these things are up here, but the status bar is all by itself down here on the bottom. The status bar lines the bottom of the program window when it displays information about the current presentation. Over here, we can see how many slides there are, as well as what slide we're on. We can see spelling. This is kind of a cool thing. It'll tell us if there's any spelling errors. We can click to correct them as well. Over here is our notes button. Now watch what happens to the notes pane. It disappears, so we can turn off our notes down there. We can turn on and off comments. So if you, let's say, have this out for review, people can make comments on your presentation. We also have, and again, this is the tr uh, segue to the next topic in this presentation, our views. We have normal, slide sorter, reading, and slide show. And we're missing some, and you're going to find out in a minute what's that about. Also, we can adjust our zoom Whoa, of our presentation. Let me get it back to fit the window here. Okay, our last topic in this presentation is types of views. And I kind of talked about it down here just a tad. But we can do a normal view, an outline view, a slide sorter view, a notes page, as well as a reading view. Taking a look at the normal view, this is what we see right now. We have our slide pane, we have our notes pane, and we have our thumbnail pane. This is the typical default view for many of us out there. We can also use an outline view. Now, outline wasn't one of the ones I mentioned down here. It's not down here. We have to go to our view tab in our ribbons area and go to outline. Now, the big change happened here. Notice, here's normal with thumbnails and here's outline the thumbnails are gone and now we have outlines of our text that is in the presentation next we have the slide sorter view this shows us all the slides where we can move them around we can really mess with transitions uh, animations things that go between the slides we can also play with our timing lots and lots of good stuff we can do here I typically use this not to create slides but to organize my slides and that's primarily what that's for is for organization of your slides and our last two views are the notes page the notes page is up here and this is going to show us what our presentation would look like if we printed it out and then we have our reading view. The reading view gives us a preview of what the presentation would look like if we ran it. I'm going to hit escape to get out of this view. And that's going to conclude our Navigating PowerPoint 2013. Our next lesson, we're going to start looking at how to create a presentation. 
If you want some quick tips, also be sure to check out Mr. Ford's most excellent PowerPoint tips. If you have questions or comments, please be sure to email me at mrford at mrfordsclass.net. You can also find me at Twitter on Mr. Ford's Class, or find me on Facebook at Mr. Ford's Class Learning. Until our next presentation, goodbye for now.